Hi guys, today we're talking about electric forces and in this problem it says a small sphere of mass uh, of 6.3 grams with a charge of 28.8 nanocoulombs is attached to the end of a string and hangs vertically. A second charge down here of equal mass has a charge of negative 58.0 nanocoulombs and it's located below the first charge at a distance of 2 centimeters or 0 0.02 meters. For part A, we need to find the tension in the string. So to do that, uh, we need to find the forces involved uh, to get the tension. So the, the tension is going to be here, okay? And uh, so counteracting that, of course, since this charge has mass, we know that there's going to be a downward force due to gravity. So that's just going to be mass times gravity. Now because this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge, uh, these two are going to attract each other with a force, with an electric force, okay? And that attraction is going to make this positive want to come down and it's going to put excess tension in the string, all right? And so this is going to be the electric force. All right. So uh, you could say that tension is going to equal mass times gravity plus uh, the electric force uh, of the attraction between these two. All right. So let's just put Fe right here. And this is going to be. Uh, the equation, of course, we're going to use K, which is Coulomb's constant, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th Newtons times meters squared divided by Coulomb squared. Okay, and so uh, we'll just write this out real fast. So we've got 8. Point, so this is K, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th newtons times meters squared divided by coulomb squared, right? And then we're going to multiply that. So let's do this. Okay, we're going to multiply that by Q1, which we said was 28.8. 8 nanocoulombs, okay, and of course that's going to be our Q1, and then our Q2 is going to be this negative 58 nanocoulombs, and for this problem we don't have to put a negative in there, it's just to signify when we get our answer whether or not these forces are going to be attracting or repelling. So we can just put this uh, 58 Point zero nanocoulombs, right? And then of course our distance is point zero point zero two meters, and of course that's going to be squared um, because the equation says k times q1 times q2 divided by the distance squared. Okay. So we've got the, the electric force. So this whole thing right here, this whole thing is going to be the electric force. Okay. Now we're going to add, okay, so let's see here. So we're going to add it um, plus. mass times gravity. So the mass is 6.30 grams and we have to convert that to kilograms. So it's going to be 0 0.0063 kilograms times gravity which is 9.81 9.81 meters per second squared. Alright and we'll see what we get, but first let's, I'm going to show you the unit. So of course, uh, this Newton's is kilograms times 
meters uh, divided by uh, seconds squared. Um, and so you're going to be left with newtons on this side. And if you were to cancel out some of these properties, you would see that the, the c squareds are going to cancel out those two c's. And then, of course, the meter squared, because this is 0 0.02 meters. So if we had, uh, say, so that would be meter squared. And so that's going to cancel out those. And what you're left with is just newtons. OK, so when we do this, so this is just the tension. We get our 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Uh, that's from K or Coulomb's constant times our first charge, 28.8 nano coulombs, so we take that to the negative 9 because it's nano, times 58 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by the distance, which was 0 0.02 and then uh, squared. And we get 3.75422, yeah, okay. So now we take this number right here, and then we add that char or, uh, the mass times gravity. So we got gravity right here, 9.81. And we've got the mass, which was 0 0.0063 kilograms. And when we do that, we get 9.93 uh, times 10 to the negative second newtons. Okay. So when we do that, we can say the tension is going to equal 9. Uh, wow, well, I already forgot. 9.93. OK. Uh, 9.93 times 10 to the negative 2. Newtons. Okay, so this is for part A. All right, part B is a little bit harder. It says if the string can withstand a maximum tension of 0 0.180 newtons, what is the smallest value D can have before the string breaks? So now you've got to set up the problem. So we know that the maximum tension is going to be 0 0.180 newtons, right? Um, but now we've got to find the smallest distance. Okay, so when we do that, um, that's going to come from the electric force um, because you're going to start moving this negative charge closer. So the only thing that's going to be manipulated is this part right here, this 0 0.02 meters. That's what we need to solve for. Okay, so what we do is we can say, uh, let me change colors here. Alright, so we can say uh, T equals mass times gravity plus the electric force which was K times Q1 times Q2 divided by D squared. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we can subtract mg so we get t minus mg equals k times q1 uh, times q2 divided by d squared right so now what we need to do is we can uh, we can take this uh, d squared and put it up here and then we're going to take this whole thing right here and we are going to move it down here so now what you get is d squared equals k times q1 times q2 divided by t minus mg. All right? And now, last but not least, uh, come back over here, uh, we need to square root this side to take away that square. And so we're going to be left with a square root over here. 
So we say distance is going to equal the square root of k times q1 times q2 divided by the tension minus the mass times gravity. All right, remember, uh, for the tension, what we're going to be using is this uh, 0.180 newtons, OK? Um, so when you do this, you're going to have k, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th. Uh, you're going to have your Q1 and your Q2, so you're going to have 28.8 and then uh, 58. And then you've got T, which is that 0 0.180. And of course, your mass times gravity, which is, uh, you know, the uh, 0 0.0063 kilograms. All right, so we do that. We go over to the calculator. So we've got the square root. We've got our K times the charge of Q1, charge of Q2, divided by the tension which is at 0.18 newtons minus mass times gravity. So we have 0 .00, uh, 0 0.0063 kilograms times 9.81. And uh, when we do that, we get 1.13 uh, times 10 to the negative second newton. I'm sorry, distance. This is distance, sorry. Um, so it's going to be 1.13 centimeters or uh, 0 0.0113 meters. So, but 1.13 centimeters. Okay, so when you get that, you're going to get 1.13 centimeters. So that is as close as uh, this negative charge can get before the force is so great that the tension in the spring or in this uh, string uh, uh, can still hold. If it gets any closer, the force is going to become greater, uh, the tension is going to be greater, and then the string is going to pop. So this is the answer to part two. And that is how you solve that kind of problem.